Okay, so this is my new actuator design. Slowly getting there. This is probably my final design, if everything goes smoothly. Basically, still utilizing the exact same bottom bearing plate, like mount, and the motor spacer and everything down there is the same. Um, the only difference is I've changed the top hat here to obviously incorporate the three rod system. Um, using the same universal joint up top. That's all sort of countersunk under there. We've got three Igus linear um, uh, bushes in there and obviously the two holes to screw up to the aluminium sliders. Now initially I didn't have these sliders or in but um, and I was basically to secure the top hat and the bottom I was screwing it to the tube in the side and I just don't like that idea because if you if, if they fail or the plastic breaks inside the whole thing can just sort of rattle apart whereas the last system I use these exact sliders and what it, it actually acts as a, um, a clamping force it clamps it to the tube so that and that's worked well for over 12 months now so I'm going back to that system these are my old rods so they don't actually incorporate the new length of the ball screw so they're a bit short. I'm losing probably 50 more travel because of these steps. But if this works out, I'll just get new ones ordered the right size and I'll get an extra 50 mil of travel. The total travel is about 540 mil out of the 600 mil, which is not bad because my other actuators were about 350, 370, and that's only a 500 mil ball screw. These actually come in exactly the same height as my old actuator so I'll be able to run this one with the other five I've got and just test it out which is what I'm going to do. The ball nut as you can see looks a bit different that's an Igus 3D printed ball nut I designed so it's um, basically you've got three bolts here Silent Chill gave me a bit of an idea with that so that'll just hopefully avoid layer separation that'll keep a lot of tension on that no, and yeah, I mean, just this bit here is probably the weakest. That's the layer that you would worry about separating. So just keeping those bolts there, hopefully keep it all together and stop, stop it from separating and breaking apart. But we've got the locators on the side for this, just keep it going up and down straight. The last design didn't have the sliders and it was getting some rotation on, on um, yeah, forward and reverse changing, changing directions basically, which is... Yeah, not ideal. It's probably going to put a lot of strain on this 3D printed part here every time and it's going to just fail, I reckon. So I've gone back to this, so it's now back to the clamping system that I've always used and yeah, we'll see how it goes. We'll um, put some tube on it and bolt her up and see how, how it works. It's also a 16 by 10, so it's going to be twice the speed of my old um, actuators as well, which is pretty handy. Righto, first test. Just going to plug it in. It should calibrate home. Beautiful. Oh, she's got some speed to it. <laughs> awesome. A little squeak, but I think once it beds in and settles down, it should be alright, I think. Hmm. Test. <laughs> 